ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Tonight, we're going to take a look at a new device that has come with the Platinum expansion of Farm Sim 22. This is the Yarder, and the Yarder is a device that you use to pull logs into a single location. Um, one thing that I found, and I just learned this recently, is that at least with this Yarder, but I'm assuming it's also true with the bigger one, they have to be uphill of where the logs are. You cannot set this at the bottom of a hill and pull the logs down out of the hill. That has to be, they have to be, an, it has to be an uphill pull. Um, so anyway, I just thought I'd pass that information on to you. Now, to operate the Yarder, I find that is easier to have your help menu open. And the reason for this is that it sh there's a bunch of Yarder controls that show up on the help menu, which will help you operate it. Now, once you've been using it for a while, you'll get used to it and not have to think about it anymore. But at the beginning, it is quite helpful. Now, on this tractor, we have the first and least expensive Yarder. And this guy runs about $38,000. However, it I believe it has a 1.5 ton limitation. Um, let's take a look real quick. Yes, I was correct. This has, it requires a 110 horsepower tractor to operate, which we have. Um, it has a 500 meter length uh, maximum, and it can pull up to 1.5 tons. Now that's approximately one and a half. You could pull two six foot, like full size six foot lodge pole pine logs or uh, spruce. If you're getting into the giant sequoias, uh, there aren't very many loggers that can cut those. You have to cut them by hand. And I would suggest you just using like front loaders or maybe a feller buncher to carry it because those redwood trees are so heavy. I don't think you're really even going to be able to pull. You're going to have to really chop it up into short pieces um, to get it to work properly um, with the sequoia. So it's not worth it. But for lodgepole pine and spruce, this yarder can pull one to two decent size logs. When I say decent size, I'm talking about nine meters. Um, you could probably pull two six meter logs, but it just depends on the weight and the size. Um, up to 1.5 tons. So this one's a little bit limited. The other yarder, let's take a look real quick here, has the ability to pull up to three tons. It also has an 840 meter stretch, so it can go a lot further. Um, now it says it requires 225 horsepower, but it has 225 horsepower. So it operates by itself. You just set it up and let it pull. Um, so this guy is a lot easier to use, but you can see it's also $95,000. So it, it doesn't come cheap. It's, it's literally double more than double the price of our tractor mounted yarder. Let's go ahead and put these things into operation. So first things first, let's find a spot that's a good place to pull these logs. Uh, I've got a bunch of logs down below us that are cut. Um, this is honestly where that truck is parked is probably the best place to put them so that we can bring a front loader up here or maybe a forwarder and forward them. You know, doing a forwarder in the woods would also be maybe the other way to go. Let's pull this out of the way. trying to get the sides to fold up. Sometimes like, it's weird. I can't get the sides to fold up sometimes. Uh, it's weird. <laughs> in, in certain modes, it seems like you can... I don't know. Yeah, it just... It's, it won't, I can't get it to fold up. Oh, well. We're going to move this out of the way. I'm going to drive it in the tree. I forgot you have to put the, the landing gear down on that trailer to extend and retract it. I had to not have done. So we're going to set our tractor up right kind of in the middle here. And we're going to go ahead and uh, the logs are back behind us down there. We're going to set this up here just like this. And I'm going to lower it. And then I can turn my tractor off. The yarder will employ the tractor as it needs it. Um, let's go ahead and you, you stand next to here. And when you see on the menu there, it'll say... Set up yarder rope. That's what we click. And then we walk down to where our yard or our cutter is, our harvester. T 
ta-da, you can see the rope is extending out. I don't know how many meters I have out right now. I wish it would tell you how far you've gone. But here's there's one of the logs that we have. There's a bunch down here. There's a bunch of felled logs. So I'm going to attach a tree nearby these logs. And as we look at the tree, um, that tree, not right angle. Use a different one. Mm. It liked one of these. It likes that one. <clears throat> Not at the right angle. So we might have to move. We might have to pivot the yarder a little bit. I want it to grab to these trees because these are the ones that are near the log. So let's go ahead and pivot that. I just I must not have angled it right. Let's see which way the tractor is facing that it's telling us. It's being fussy. All right. So we have to. We're going to angle that tractor more. Um, let's see. It's going to be this way is which way I want to go. So that that should do it. And we're going to grab that again. And we're going to walk this down again to where we were. Sorry about that. I'll be right back. All right. So angling the tractor worked. I now have this. And you can set it how high you want from the range on this tree is from it's, it's limited. It's from here to here. By looking up and down, you can set the height. I'm going to set it up as high as I can because we have a ridge to go over. So there's our line. And it's set now, and we're ready to work. You can see up in the left-hand side, we have some instructions. It's showing that the yarder itself, the, the pulley, is next to our yarder. And the tree is on the other end of that. It's showing you where it is. And it's showing where I am, too. So see, as, as I move... That arrow changes where I'm at on the line. So we're going to bring the yarder down by pressing the left uh, button, and that will bring the, the yarder to us. And you're going to see the, or the, well, it brings the pulley to us. There we go. And so it's going to bring the pulley right about here, and it'll stop right over us. And then I'm going to click that again. And so the carriage is, uh, the carriage, that's what they're calling it. Uh, the carriage is going to sit right there for now. And I'm going to look for uh, a log that's close enough to pick up. Once again, there was one here somewhere that was kind of an outlier. So we're going to go ahead and grab this log. Uh, I'm going to bring the carriage closer to me. That's where it's going to reach. Okay, so that's we're probably almost as far as this thing reaches. But in fact, we'll grab this end to get it a little bit closer. And this piece of wood, it doesn't show us. Uh, this piece of wood is 911 kilograms. I'm not sure how much a ton is. That doesn't really help me, but uh, then I'm going to hold my right button down and press A to attach it. There you go. Now, sometimes you can attach a second log, but it has to be close to that first log. And since this one is out a little bit, I'm going to say it's too far. So now, if I want it to follow me, I'm going to click the button again. Or if I want to do it manually, I can hold down the right bumper. I can move the carriage left and right. See that? I can also raise and lower the log. And I'm going to go ahead and raise it. We're going to pull this way. And it's going to start yanking that log up. And it's going to lift it up off the ground. There you go. You can see the log lifting up. Basically, I was holding the right bumper and pressing down on the right joystick. If I press up on the right joystick, it's going to lower it. I know that makes absolutely no sense. That's how they did it. <laughs> you should be down, should be down, up, should be up. But... It's using it as if you were controlling a crane or something like that. So there's that. And then we can hold it to the left. And if I want to just sit here, I can cause it to, to fly off like that. And there it goes. Now, I'm interested to see how this works multiplayer. If one person can, obviously one person runs it by themselves, but how is it going to work when we have two people running it? I, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what happens. All right, look here. You can see here I had turned the tractor off, but the tractor's running all by itself. And it turns off when it gets here, and then I'm going to bring the log the rest of the way. And I'm going to raise it up a little bit. Bring it into the yard a little closer, slow, nice and slow. And I'm just going to, now I'm going to detach it by pressing right bumper X. Ta da! It's that simple. All right, so I'm going to run back down again. We're going to grab two more logs, and then we'll try the big one so you can see how that one works. 
Once again, you have to be at the top of a hill. The yarders only work uphill. They do not work downhill. So, all right. So the carriage is going to follow me down. I've, I've enabled that. And it's on its way. And we can stop it right about there. And let's go ahead and attach it to this log. How heavy is this log? This log weighs 400 kilograms. So we're going to go ahead and attach that. And there's another log in here. How much does this weigh? 397 kilograms. That's too far, though. Hmm. So these pieces are all too far. So we're going to have to just pull that by itself. Uh, and that's the, once again, the, the, if you want it to, we can unattach this here. Oh, it says, no, that's my, okay. And don't get confused. Okay. So if you look at this, it's showing you up in the left-hand corner, it says object too heavy, but that's talking about for your hands, not for the, the, the device. So we're going to go ahead and drop this. I'm going to see what else. If, I want to see if we can get two in, in at a time here. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's see, we're going to attach this to the tree and I'm going to pull that up just a hair. So I'm holding the button and I'm going to move the carriage to the left a little bit. And now we can get this log also. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. Nope. Wrong button. There we go. Now we got both of those logs attached. They have to be close to each other, but you can attach them once they're close. And I'm going to raise these up. I want to get them as raised as I can so that they're not hitting things as they go up the hill. And we're going to go ahead and walk up. Now, once I move the crane by itself, it disables the carriage follow mode. So I've re-enabled that. And right now the logs are following me. When they get close, I'll stop them and control it the rest of the way. So here they come, flying through the woods. Look at that. So easy. And we're going to stop right there. I'm going to raise these up a little bit more. And very slowly bring these in. Rotate the camera a little bit so I can see better. Now, they're never going to be perfect. You're going to have to, probably with a second tractor and maybe a winch, uh, or a blade, like shove them together. There you go. And, um, and that'll give you, you know, a nice little pile of logs. And then you can use a front loader or one of those big grapples from on a, on a um, front loader to pick up the big bunch of logs and throw it into a carton or put it on a trailer, whatever you want to do. Maybe you even have the yard near the sawmill. But that is the functioning of the sawmill. Let's go ahead and do a big, the bigger yarder and see how that one works. It's, it's about the same, but we'll go ahead and give it a try. So to close this off, we just walk up to the yarder and we say left uh, controller click or joystick click. And that puts the yarder away. And that's it. It's all done. Let's go ahead and raise that yarder. And we're going to go ahead and close it, fold it up. And we're done. We're going to move this out of the way, and we'll bring the other one in. So here's the big guy, and I'm going to put it in the same place. And we're, you can see here we're using all of our forestry tractors that they've given us. Cool, cool forestry tractors. This one's based on a John Deere. The other one's based on a Voltra. Yes, I know it's another company that... Finnish manufactures them, but it is see that was a little, bit, a little bit taller. And the tractor can actually leave. I'm leaving it attached for now, but you don't actually no, we're gonna just to prove a point, we're gonna we're gonna move the tractor. So this yarder functions on its own. And so we're gonna go back here. Same idea. We're gonna grab our rope. And we're going to take it down to a tree that's near the logs that we're working. Probably the same tree, honestly. These will work. That's a different tree. 
we can go back to this one, and I'm going to push it up. There we go. And I'm going to bring that yarder down to us, or the carriage. And the carriage is almost here. Here it comes. <laughs> now, as you can see, this one has a larger carriage, double double pulley system. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and attach this one. I think you'll be able to get both of these. Nope, wrong button. Uh, so we're going to detach that. And I'm going to attach this. I know it's detached. I say detached to be silly. Sorry. If you haven't been around my channel, I tend to be a little bit goofy. And I apologize. I also say, oh, a lot. Oh, shoot. Let's get that one there. Put it down. Put it. Put friend down. Okay. Can we grab this one now? Frig. Nope. So we're going to attach this. I'm trying to get it so I can get both at the same time. And we're going to raise this up. And pull it a little bit. Raise it. Pull it. <laughs> well, <laughs> it went too far. That is not what I wanted to do, but we'll go ahead and I'm going to get it a little further up and then we'll drop it right about right about there. We'll drop it. And then I'm going to bring this back. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this. We're going to go up here and slowly watch what we're doing. Now, if you get the ends near each other, you can actually connect to opposite ends. Because um, then it'll 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 reach. It's kind of funny how it'll work. And then when you start to pull them, they'll flop together. But this is probably a little bit more fancy the way to do it. Now we're now we're working. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and attach that, attach that, and you could even do maybe another log. This is one point two. That's nine hundred. Uh, that's all I would risk. That's about two and a half tons right there. Um, so I wouldn't attach another log. But there's more down there. And so I'm going to walk up and I'm going to put it follow mode on. And it's following me now. And I'm just going to follow the lines up to here. Once again, once they get to be about here, I'm going to stop. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and manually pull them up the rest of the way. Here they come. I'm going to raise them up a little bit because they're not floating. And detach. And you can see we've made a nice pile. Let's go grab one more set just to just to let, let it settle in. Once again, I've started it following me again. And it was in sit mode, and now it's following. Um, in real life, you'd you'd move this guy. This this would not be st left there because it's getting whacked by the trees as I pull him past. Um, I think these are the last two logs, actually. I don't know. No, there's no. Those are just those two. Okay. So we got. I'm going to tie these close together so that I can get them both easily. Nope. Attach and attach. And it's following me. So <laughs> now once again, if you go off to the side somewhere, it's not going to follow. It's going to follow you just on the line is, is what they mean. <laughs> it's not just going to randomly follow you all over the map. I think it dropped them. So there it did. For some reason, they must have got tangled on something, but they dropped. And so if that happens, that, that probably means that I needed to um, lift them up a little bit. So we're going to attach this one here. And that does happen sometimes. Sometimes you'll lose them. So just be aware that that does happen. We're going to raise them up this time a little bit. There we go. Oh, there's another log there. Look at that. What? Can we get that one? Oh. <gasps> Let's detach these. We're 
we're going to attach this one. I'm going to move this this way just a little bit. Okay, right there, right there. Okay, and then detach. All right, and then we're going to see if we can get all three of these. We're going to pull this one here. It might still be too heavy, but why not try to get them all at once, right? Oh. <laughs> Dude. Come on, get a little closer. Get a little closer. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There. Oh, triple dipple. All right, so it's going to follow us now. And uh, <laughs> it's a trio. A log, a log a trio. I went the wrong way. Here they come. Oh, shoot. Why do those keep breaking off? That's weird. It could be because it's... No, because they're here. Oh, look at that guy. I've never had to do it twice. That's weird. I must be hitting something. What a jip. Well, it can't all be perfect, right? And... Mm. Oh, it just broke. I think what's happening is that we have this, uh, yeah, this guy sitting on it and causing the line to break. Look at that. How annoying is that? Okay, um, I can't really raise that up. Oh, for crying out loud! And you have to. This thing has to unfold for it to for it to work. Oh. What? Oh well. <laughs> and plonk goes the demonstrate. Okay, and moving right along. You guys see how this works? Okay. Just like all things farm sim, this is bugged as all get out. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and attach this. We're going to pretend like that didn't happen. We're going to grab our other log. Eh, God dang it. All right. And we're going to move up the tree. That's what I would call a spot of bad luck. There they come. Now it's got them. Can it lift them? There you go. That's going to bring them over here, right with the other logs. So, ta-da! We have made a nice pile of logs. It's not the neatest pile ever, but it's a pile. And so that is how the yarders work. And then when you're done, all you have to do is walk over here press the left button and then attach the tractor to it and fold it down and you're all good to go uh, and then you use a bulldozer or some sort of device to push these together and pick them up and put them on your truck or your carriage that simple so ladies and gentlemen hopefully you enjoyed this short easy tutorial on how to use the yarders they're definitely a really cool device and they are a lot of fun to use and i use them i'm going to be using them a lot in my series because they're just they make it so much simpler. Um, I really am bad at the crane controls. So this makes my life a lot simpler. I'm not struggling trying to get logs um, onto the back of for forwarders and stuff like that. These just work. So anyway, there you go. There, there, there you have the yarders. Have a great night, guys. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help, and we will see you next time. Bye.